Hello, my darling Cancers, and welcome back to my channel, Luma Moon Tarot. So, Cancer, um, I don't know why, but tonight I f I'm being led to use the Infinite Energy Oracle deck for your reading, okay? And at the bottom of the deck was the Thief card. So, um, yeah, that one totally popped out at me, okay? Um, so, yeah, we're going to start there, Cancer. I feel like there's a thief, somebody who's very dishonest, an enemy around you, okay? But we're going to see what the divine wants you to know. Anyway, my darlings, um, this reading may not resonate with all of you, okay? So just take what resonates, Cancer. Leave the rest. Don't try to force it, right? And thank you. I love you, Cancers. You guys are so awesome. Um, thank you, number one, for all the nicknames, guys. Um, I, I love you. We need to do something, have some kind of contest or something. I got to think something up. Um, let me know. Uh, maybe drop a comment or something. Also, comment sections, right? You guys, I'm, I, I hardly ever um, leave any comments, right? Um, I'm never going to solicit any kind of personal readings because I'm not doing personal readings. I'm never going to take you to a different site. Um, if, if it's somebody, um, that looks like me that's doing it, that's not me. Okay. It's not me. So be careful in the comment section. Um, but yeah, thank you so much cancers for everything. Um, I love you guys. I love this soul tribe. All right. So thief on the bottom of the deck messages, um, you're receiving some kind of messages about somebody, uh, in your inner circle, you could be having dreams. Yeah, and there it is. Oh, social media. I feel like there's somebody uh, very fake on your on your social media. So maybe a you could have been friending somebody like this could be something where maybe you have somebody on Messenger or on Facebook, right? And you get a second friend request from them and you're thinking to yourself, well, I already have them on my list, right? Um, so what's going on with that? Like it, it could be something weird like that. Social media, this person could be um, talking about you, lying about you on social media, trying to ruin your reputation, okay, to try to take something away or ruin your success somehow. Um, this is a, a karmic release here. This could be a karmic, somebody that um, it, the a situation for them could be ending right now. This is death and rebirth, uh, but I feel like something's ending for a karmic, and they're trying to get some kind of revenge or trying to take something. What is this? Ooh, could this be a past best friend? Somebody that you cut out of your life. It could be, uh, it says soul family. This could actually be anyone. It could be a, a karmic. It could be a best friend that you ended something with. This could be a best friend. And there, it's almost like, you know, I'm getting a no on this, but I feel like it's a friend. A, 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 it could be anybody. Friends, family, um, exes, karmics, okay? I feel like they're just watching you, possibly doing some moon magic. There is a full moon coming up on the 7th, you guys, the full moon in Virgo. Um, things are coming to an absolute end and energy is being cleared out. Like um, whatever happens around this full moon, if things are coming to an end, that's it. There is no turning back after this full moon. That's the kind of energy that this full moon is bringing in, okay? that things are permanently cut out. So I feel like this is somebody you don't want back in your life. Um, and you're standing your ground on this one too. This is somebody, uh, that, you know, I feel like they're trying to, They're maybe they're commenting on your stuff or um, they're trying to ruin your reputation somehow in the, in the community. It could have something to do with your work as well. With Thief out here, they could be trying to stop your success. And this is definitely a fake friend who's very, um, they're envious, they're jealous. Uh, this is an enemy. This is somebody who's lying about you, being dishonest. But, but this is somebody that I feel like you definitely don't want back in your life. We could be talking about a Scorpio, but to me, that's a harsh, cold cutoff. 
This is somebody who's getting completely cut out of your life. And I feel like um, they're showing me whatever it is that this person is trying to do. If they don't stop doing it, they will be removed. Um, like, I mean, the divine is not going to, the divine's going to cut them out cold. So, yeah, I feel like uh, change, new horizons, Leo. Um, yeah, you're taking control of your life is what I'm getting here, Cancer. You're breaking free from this negative energy. You don't have a part to play in it anymore. The divine is completely stepping in and taking over. They are. They're taking over. Um, you're standing your bound. You're standing your ground. You're standing in your. You got your boundaries up. You're standing firm, right? Resilient. It's resilience here. Um, so yeah, and anything that this person took from you, uh, there's recovery here. You're gonna get everything back that was taken from you. This is like um, you're gonna be restored. We did a reading on that before, you guys, like a couple of weeks ago. I think everything is about to be restored to you, and you're being protected. The divine is stepping in. The divine is stepping in, and you're taking control of your own life. Okay, that's the feeling that I'm getting. I feel like people are going to be cut. If people continue to send you bad energy, no matter who it is, and this could be friends, family, um, co-workers, exes, karmics, people who don't even know you that are listening to the gossip, okay, um, yeah, I, I feel like it's lies. Dishonest is right here. Yeah, trying to ruin, I feel like they're trying to take away something from you or um, maybe this is somebody who stole from you in the past. Everything that has been taken from you is about to um, be recovered, okay? And everything here in your life, Cancer, is about to change. Whole new prospects, new horizons. You could be moving away. This could be a, a house move, a location change. Um, traveling, a new adventure, right? You're manifesting new stuff. You could even be, um, an idea could come to you when you say you're on vacation and you're clear in your head and you're high vibing and you're having a great time. Boom, in pops this money-making idea, right? Um, and you're like, oh, why haven't I thought of that before? I feel like, yeah, people may even want to come in and brainstorm with you on a new project, but I'm really getting the sense that, you know, I'm getting the feeling off of this that um, you kind of just want to be alone right now, okay? Taking control, maybe taking yourself away, pulling yourself out of the situation, clearing your head. Um, so I feel like, yeah, you're, you're working on a new project maybe, or you're about to get an awesome idea. Like this is the kind of thing, um, this is like an invention or a new project or a creative, something creative. It's gonna, it's gonna take off. Yeah. And with possibly within a month. Wow. Wow. That's, <laughs> that was fast. Yeah, so listen to your intuition, Cancer. I feel like, too, somebody, uh, I keep this a secret. Whatever idea this is, don't tell anybody. Like I said, I'm feeling like, honestly, I feel like you've got this feeling like you can't trust anyone around you. And honestly, Cancer, it's a possibility that maybe you can't. I don't know who who this person is. I feel like a whole community has wronged you. And I feel like um, desperate in desperate times, people will try to take other people's ideas and run with it, okay? So don't tell anybody about your about any kind of plan, any new idea, any kind of house move. Don't tell people where you're going. I mean, Keep it all hidden, all your moves at this time, because people do want to take things from you. And I don't know who that is. You know, I don't know. It could be one person. It could be a lot of people around you right now. We're talking about a whole community here. Okay? You know, it could be one. It could be a lot of people in all different areas of your life. So keep everything hidden right now. 
but I feel like keep going in your north node with Aries. I feel like, you know, um, headstrong, right? Um, just moving forward, staying in a, in a forward motion, okay? Um, focused, right? Aries, a lot of focus. Um, remain focused on what it is that you're trying to manifest here. Yeah, you're about to receive some kind of message. Some kind of idea is just going to pop right into your head, Cancer. Okay, it's just going to, yeah. And I feel like within like a month's time, you take this idea. Um, it says one month here. Within a month's time, this thing just blows up. Like everybody loves it. Everybody wants it. You're attracting people with it, whatever this is. Okay, I feel like you're going to know. Because I'm getting the tingles all over me when you get this message. It's, um, uh, it's, it's going to resonate with you. You're going to be like, I, that's such a great idea. Everybody needs one of those. Or everybody, you know, or it's just going to be for you, right? The more passionate you are about something, the more of yourself and your passion and your high vibes that you put into a project, it doesn't matter what it is. Um, those vibrations attract other people to it. So, you know, um, it could be anything. It could be anything. And I feel like it's just going to take off very quickly. Very quickly. Okay? Venus, yeah. All the love that you put into it. This is what I'm talking about. The love, the passion, your energy, your light. If you put that into a creative project, it's going to, it immediately is valuable because that energy is so valuable. And that's what is going to attract people to it. Okay. But you, you know, you can't trust everyone, right? So use caution. And I feel like that is telling me that you need to keep this hidden, you know, um, I mean, if you need to pull in like a legal team to look at any contracts, yes. If you need to um, ask for some a professional to help you do research or look into rules and regulations, man, that's another thing, right? But I'm talking about the people um, in your life that don't have a role to play in this new idea. A lot of these people don't need to know. You, you know what I'm talking about, don't you? Just be cautious, be cautious, stay grounded, very grounded. And honestly, with this card coming out, a lot of these people are toxic. You know, they're jealous, they're envious, they're angry at your success already. This is like a new idea on top of already your success. Okay? So, yeah. I feel like people are really, yeah, these toxic, toxic negative people. You could be dealing with a Virgo. You could be dealing with an Aries Leo. Okay. But uh, I feel like um, all they do is think about, they quietly just spend all day thinking about plans on how to bring you down. Okay. Does that make sense? They strategically think. Um, about what plan is going to work that's going to ruin your abundance and slow down your progress and take away your success. Okay, these are people who are toxic. And all they do is think about this. Okay, that's all they do. And I feel like now you've got your freedom from these people. Um, you've also been speaking your truth here. You're entering into a time of, in your life when you're very independent. Um, you're um, focused on other things. You can clear your head now, Cancer. I feel like the worst is behind you. I really do. But now, now it's about protecting your energy, protecting those ideas, um, keeping those moves hidden from the toxic people that want to destroy new opportunities for you. You don't want that to happen. You know, and standing your ground here. Standing your ground. Right? Um, having those boundaries up. Not, like, if these people try to do anything to, like, I feel like somebody could even be commenting on your things that's fake. 
Delete it and move on. Don't let it get you off of your throne, right? Because the more they get into your head, the more they throw off your focus. And right now I feel like the divine wants you to stay focused because this new idea is going to push you forward so fast um, it's going to make your head spin. Like, I feel like you're, it's just going to take off whatever new idea this is. It's going to take off really quickly. Okay. And yeah, your spirit guides, they, the divine protection, they're all around you right now, cancer. You can probably feel them. I feel like somebody is hearing them. Am I getting that right? Drop a comment. Um, someone is actually able to hear what your spirit guides are telling you, like, like they're whispering in your ear. Okay. I've been, I've been hearing it too, but I hear it. I've been hearing it my whole life. So, but yeah, um, I feel like your abilities are being heightened. Your spirit guides are really leading you, talking to you. Um, they're around you all the time, but I feel like they want you to also protect you. They're, they're protecting you, Cancer, but you've got to protect yourself as well. Um, and your ideas, and your abundance, and your freedom, and your peace of mind, okay? Because the people that you're dealing with, I feel, are toxic. They're selfish. They're your, uh, you know, these are somebody that you would consider an enemy. It's right here in writing. <laughs> so, yeah, avoid these people, right? And notice the red flags. Use caution when telling anybody anything that you're doing, Cancer. Okay, I wouldn't tell anybody anything. I feel like um, you could be dealing with the Libra, uh, but I feel... I'm really feeling like this is justice, okay? This is um, the scales finally, finally, Cancer, being balanced for you. Basically, it's your time, honey. It is your time now. The universe wants you to have your justice. They want you on stable ground, okay? And I feel like the uh, spirit is helping you by giving you these ideas by just whispering in your ear however it is that you're getting the messages right um yeah you're about to have this is going to have a very positive outfall outcome for you a windfall it's going to bring in a windfall of money a windfall of opportunities um yeah and they're leading you there just stand your ground just stand your ground cancer keep doing what you're doing keep manifesting right some of you may need to get away to a new horizon just to clear your head and think, you know. Just like open your mind, let this idea just come to you. Um, and yeah, I feel like um, this is all supposed to happen. This could also be something that um, could lead you to a commitment in the future. So I feel like the divine is bringing in new love. But also this idea, whatever this is, it's going to absolutely change your life and you're going to know it as soon as you get this idea man you're going to know and you're going to remember this reading guys drop a comment if that happens please okay because i love that when you do that <laughs> um but yeah um yeah this idea you're going to know right away oh my gosh this is fabulous you i can't believe i didn't think about this before you know and you're going to know it's coming from your spirit guides. You're going to know you're being guided. You're going to know this reading was absolutely true. You're going to know, you're going to see how it's going to change your life very quickly, Cancer. This could, this could take one month to take off, or you may get this idea in within a month, okay? Um, and this is all stuff that is, is uh, it's like this is part of your destiny, this is part of your destiny, okay? So this is supposed to be happening, and the divine is leading you. Wow, I love it. So yeah, you're gonna, you could be noticing a lot of signs, patterns, um, pattern numbers, right? 11, 11, 1, 2, 3, 4, right? 2, 2, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, right? Things like that. Um, uh, the signs can come in anywhere. Um, reoccurring things like um, 
the, the divine could be leading you to a specific location. I've been, I rented like, I don't know, five or six movies last week. Three of them all mentioned Hawaii. And before then, um, I was picking up on Hawaii. So, you know, it's things like that, okay? It's things like that. Um, reoccurring things, you know? Uh, you're going to be seeing signs. Let's just say that patterns in in um it's almost like you know what it feels like is a glitch in the matrix i gotta say that's what it feels like to me you're going to notice something it's almost like a glitch in a matrix or a, a repetitive pattern of something okay but it's it's not really the matrix it's the divine kind of getting through the matrix and giving you this message to, if that makes sense okay and i feel like you're just gonna I feel like the divine wants you to just go for it. When you uh, listen to your intuition, right? Check out whatever you have to legally, you know, do your research. But I feel like you're going to jump on this. This is something that I feel like you're not going to really think twice about it. Okay? I feel like you're going to be excited and enthusiastic about it. And I think you're just going to go for it, Cancer. Yeah, you're, uh, yeah, it's very equitable. I feel like um, just remain stable. Take a look into things, right? Look deeper. Do your research. Thank you, Divine. I'm telling you, you guys, I can't make it up. Do your research. If you have a gut feeling about something, check it out, you know, um, or follow your gut feeling if it's positive, right? Listen to your intuition here, Cancer, all right? And have other people look deeper into the legal stuff. Look at all the fine print, especially if it's a contract, right? If it's a contract, you, wanna, you may want to have it looked over by a professional, somebody who's in the legal field, all right? Or, um, I don't know, uh, governmental or whatever, okay? It's, it's, uh, it's going to be different for everybody. Okay, but yeah, do your research, remain grounded, um, be sensible, stable about it, find out everything about it before you, you say anything about it. I feel like you need to keep your moves hidden, but have any contracts checked out, right? For Checked out by somebody who will notice the red flags, a professional. Okay, but I feel like this is something that you're going to be envisioning. These are, um, you. this is why you're going to feel it too, for, in, like down in your bones that this is um, going to be a success is because you already, sub. it's already in your subconscious, subconscious. It's already in your subconscious because this was already, I feel, something that's part of your destiny. And that's why you're going to feel really good about it. Okay? Yeah, wow, Cancer. Uh, yeah, be the light, baby. Yes, Cancer. Um, uh, yeah, it's because you're, you're, you could be a light worker. This is intuition, too. This is manifestation, making a wish. I feel like this is a wish that's coming true for you, Cancer. A big one that's going to change your life. And I'm talking about wealth, money, abundance, opportunities, happiness, like everything. Okay? So, yeah, I'm like kind of shaky about it because like this is really big. It's an absolute windfall. And this, uh, your wish, whatever this is, it's coming true. This idea is coming to you. Okay? Um, yeah, it's, yeah, just remain positive, right? Be the light. You attract things to you with the light, Cancer, with your energy. Oh, wow, Cancer. But remember what I said, though, guys, right? Have contracts, any kind of contracts, any kind of legal stuff, any kind of rules and regulations. Have it looked at by um, a, some, like an attorney or, you know, an authority on it, okay? whatever it is for you but oh my gosh cancer this is this is your justice this is um this is you being rewarded for your effort 
This is the di divine being right there with you, helping you with this idea. This is going to change your life. I'm so happy for you. Yeah, congratulations, Cancer. And I feel like these toxic people over here, I feel like um, the divine is going to take care of these people. I feel like you are absolutely free from this now. Okay? <laughs> I love this reading for you guys. Anyway, Cancer, listen, that's what I've got for this reading. Um, I hope this helps and resonates, you guys. Yes. Um, if you like this video as much as I do, please <laughs> click that like button. Subscribe to my channel if you like this vibe, right? And um, congratulations, Cancer. I love you. And until next time, my darlings, take care of you and peace out.